Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Legion Fox Gaming. So today we're doing the uh, Pixie Reputation Quest, Sustenance for the Soul. Tierbeck would like to offer you their thanks. Thanks to you, Lakeland is now brimming with fond and happy dreams. Though there's so much to do, Lameg has begun to regain its former shine, and for that, I'm truly thankful. My best friend and I, we built the place together, you see, but they're gone now, and it falls to me to look after our precious garden. Oh right, the little girl whose nightmare we vanquished. She's having a dream right now. Would you like to go and see her together? Well, yes, I'd love to. Um, actually, I wasn't asking. Never mind, when you're ready, speak to Thon Souls before they'll show you in. Their little dream realm here. Oh, you're the hero from my dream. The one who defeated the monster controlling my doll. They're so brave and strong, just like the warrior of darkness. Ever since I had that dream, I haven't been afraid to sh say how I feel. Well, it might still be a little bit embarrassing, but my heart feels so much lighter now. That is well, child. It's poison for the soul to keep your feelings pent up inside. Oh dear, is it that time already? I'd like to stay and talk some more, but I have to wake up soon. Thank you, all of you. Till next time. Well, how strange to receive thanks from a mortal. It's not a bad feeling. I've been thinking, friends. With things settled in Lakeland, perhaps we may now turn our attention to those suffering from nightmares in other regions? Yes, I think it's a good time now. What do you say we take ourselves to Calusia next? No objections for me. Now, based on previous observations, on lad pl plants a potent nightmare within a chosen individual, who in turn spreads it to those around them. A little girl was once such person, the source of the nightmares in Lakeland. We must look for her counterparts in Clusia and elsewhere, and I'll likewise aid them. I see, I see, and I trust you, you can track down these people with your keen sense of smell? But of course, is what I would like to say, but it's become complicated. How so? In order to prevent further interference, it seems that Onladen has taken to employing magics to veil the scent of a nightmare at the source. The result being, though, I can sense the general area where nightmares are concentrated, I can't readily identify the individual from which they all emanate. First, you can't keep the nightmare down, and now you can't even find them? What use are you? Come now, come. Let's not lose faith so soon. Just so happens... I know someone who can help us, my creator. Let us go to Plaw Any and seek their counsel together. Yep, time to leave. Got things to do. Places to go. Not enough time to do any of it in. This is my esteemed creator, Logo Ank, and the subject on the subject of the heart and the mind, I know none more versed than they. Master Logonk, I am returned. If it please you, there are these are my companions. We seek your sage counsel on the matter of the pale pixie. Ah, uh, if it isn't Elzo II, the namesake of my beloved teacher. Please am I that you still think me your master. You are the hero who set it free our fallen king. A, a fitting payment. Such a valor seed calls for a fitting payment. Just another new mo at the end of the day. With all due respect, Master, we, we have need of haste. As you are aware, we are on a quest to eliminate nightmares. But the Pale Pixie has veiled the scent with magics. Is there no way to lift its effects? I'm afraid lifting such magics will be no easy feat. 
However, I believe we may greatly narrow down the search by considering the circumstances of the Pale Pixie's birth. The birth, you say? There's always more of us appearing, so I hadn't given it any thought. To state a commonly held belief, to said that a pixie is born where the soul of a mortal who died in childhood gathers new ether to itself. Are you we following thus far? Having originated from life but ended too soon, such a soul is often unstable and is defined by the needs that once drove its owner. Needs that are highly susceptible to the influence of outside ether. This brings me to the hypothesis. Should a soul defined by unfulfilled needs take on an ether laden with extremely adverse emotions, and may give us a nightmare spawning pixie such as Onlad. Well, no luck be born to be born like this. If this hypothesis is correct, we may confirm that Onlad is drawn to those who are tormented by the same unfulfilled needs. And as the pixie does in children are most of all that they they would see such kindred souls. I can say from experience that there's a strong connection between needs and dreams, and in this case of Calusia. Most dreams are to do with food. Food, you say. Society, then. We search for children in Calusa whose hearts are hounded by hunger. As I mentioned, Onlad has veiled the scent of the source, but the numbers are concentrated on in right. Our task, then, is to find a child there who suffers from nightmares yet gives off no scent. Let's set out at once. A, a moment. Given the ser service you have performed for us, Oh, you have a tremendous set. I cannot feel at ease until it is repaid. Is there no service I can offer you? Nothing at all. In that case, you are staying at Lidra Lawn, yes? If it would be not be considered overly bold, I shall take myself there. My familiars are at your disposal, should you need them. I mean, and that... That's a fairly common... I mean, it's a slightly different from the normal myth of pixies and how they're born. Uh, most myths that I know of is that uh, they take a child just as they turn a certain age that's generally been neglected or uh, is being some way not treated the best. And take them to to a new life. Thus, their general playful and impish nature. Mm, yes, this village positively reeks of nightmares. There can be no doubt. The source is here, spreading their influence to those around them. Did that pig just talk? It did say something about nightmares. Truly, perhaps you can help me. A child I recently took in, he's been having terrible nightmares. I don't know what to do. The boy was originally from a nearby village. His parents abandoned him and went to try their luck in Yulmor. It's sad, I know, but I'm afraid it's not an uncommon story in these parts. Anyway, for a long while he was alone and had to fend for himself. He was on the brink of starving to death when I found him and brought him here. I managed to nurse him back to health, but the experience seems to have scarred him. He refuses to eat unless he's ripe to collapse out of fear that the food will run out. Where is the child now? I thought I saw him playing on the north side of the village earlier, but like as not, he's fallen asleep. He always seems tired these days. Thank you for sharing this with us, madam. Rest assured, we shall do all that we can. I dare say this is a promising lead. Come, let us search for the child. You'd think with all these houses, you'd go inside and sleep there, but okay. No, get away from me. Get away. Tossing and turning in his sleep, not a whiff of a nightmare. I believe we found our source. To be so hungry yet be unable to eat, no child deserves to suffer so. Rest easy now, lad. We shall vanquish your nightmare. Let me get this straight. He's hungry, but he refuses to eat, even though there's food. I don't understand mortals sometimes. Anyway, we all remember what to do, yes? Uh, 
how can I hold hold it in quickly this way? Here I go, get ready. A flan. Yeah, we managed a nightmare creature. Oh, cannot unsee. That thing's going to haunt my dreams. I'll haunt the young boys no more. Let's hasten back to right and see how he fares. This is one of those wholesome quest lines that you don't find very often. Unlike right now, Final Fantasy 16, which is just like, fuck that world. What world fucking sucks to live in? Which, it's probably, this comes out probably long after we've probably finished that and pushed all those uh, videos out. But, yeah. What the? Do I know you? It feels as though I've met you before. Both you and the flying pig. Ah, oh, so you found him. How do you feel, my boy? It's strange. I was having a terrifying dream, but it suddenly turned happy. Then I woke up in my stomach. It doesn't feel like it's in knots anymore. Well, now, what dream was it that you saw? It's kind of hazy, but there was a great gluttonous monster that ate everything. I was fighting it and losing, but then someone appeared and helped me, and together we defeated it. Um, I'm starving. Can I have something to eat? But of course, my dear boy, you can have as much as you like. We might not have anything fancy, but we're grown enough here to feed everyone. You need fear ever going hungry, so come, let's go home. I'll even bake you a sweet. It was you, wasn't it? The hero who helped me in my dream. Thank you. Thank you so much. They're back. Why? Why do you interfere? We would ask the same, you the same question. Why won't you have fun with dreams like normal Pixie? Fun? What does this mean? You really don't know? If you're not making mischief, what is it that you're trying to do? What's your purpose? What's my purpose? I don't know. I merely follow my heart. Since being born, there are two dreams I see. One where I can never reach someone I love, and another where I'm crying alone in a cramped old castle. When I aw awaken, I'm driven by burning desire for them, for that someone. Though their face is a blur. And for Lameg, oh, so nostalgic Lameg. What do you mean? Why Lameg? And who's this someone? Well, that was certainly perplexing, perplexing, but in any case, we've accomplished our mission here. So come, my friends. Another gate once for opening in Lameg. Hmm. 
Let's see here. Teleport back there. Excuse me. Now, there's a lot of really cool things that happen as you open up all these gates. And each one's its own, like, little chapter of the whole pixie quest line. I've been waiting for you. Truth be told, on Lad's words still weigh on my mind, but I dare say we've earned a moment of fun. Oh yes, we're going to open another gate, and we're going to put the bubbles where we've gathered to use. How does one use the bu these bubbles exactly? Which is, what was it that you said, Ezel? Better to show than to explain or some such? Crap. See, all that's really cool, but the more you do and the further you get, the more all this expands. Surprise, yes? Feel free to stay and play as long as you like. We'll be waiting for you outside. See, I never knew that other you shared the instance with other players. That's kind of cool. Every time I've ever come here, the other players are never here, so... Well, I can't go up the slide. Can I go down the slide? Yes, you can go down the slide. Awesome. I never really played around with any of it too terribly much. But this is pretty cool. Little jump puzzle. Okay. And that's another nice thing about doing these videos and coming back and re-experiencing a lot of this content. It's like, you forget all these little things about it or 
you go through and you actually get to explore things like this instead of just trying to rush through it all. Because um, I, especially around when campaigns, expansions first come out, I try and rush through a lot of it real quick. Because as being a role player, I wanted to get back to role playing with my friends. Ah, leaving already? There you are. I trust you had fun. Amazing what you can do with happy dreams and a touch of pixie magic, right? This Porksy for one is thoroughly impressed. You truly live up to your reputation as a founder of Lemag. You know, if you liked it in there, you're welcome to make Lemag your home. Oh yes, forever and ever and ever. No. Right, now that you're, we've reclaimed Calusia, we must work to fill it with lots of happy dreams. If you're willing to help, Uni Yonder will set you some tasks. Yeah, we'll do plenty of those. But that was Sustenance for the Soul. Hopefully you enjoyed this little quest. And hopefully we'll see you come back for more videos either here on YouTube. Or maybe you'll come by and see us when we stream over on Twitch. Uh, which we do pretty much daily. Till then, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day.